Hey guys, it's me Kai. I know I'm making a YouTube video. It has been so long since I made a video, and I'm sorry. It has been an insane summer. Very crazy, very busy. I redid my entire room, so my setup is a little weird. Hopefully it's not permanent. So over the summer, I accumulated quite a bit of stuff. And I'm going to show it to you guys. You don't see anything right now. And it might be a longer video than usual, so if you make it to the end, props to you. So the first thing I did this summer was I went to Czech Republic on a mission trip with my church and I got some stuff. First thing I got was a wallet. I know, wallet. I needed a wallet. It really helped me over the trip and things like that, so I got it. I also got this keychain from Braha. I got it from a bookstore in the mall. A wine corkscrew that I found on the side of the street in a big bowl. I thought it was cool. It's in Czech. So, yeah, there's awesome in that. And then I got this really pretty necklace, and I love the color of the stone because blue. So, after I got back from the Czech trip, it was, I had four days, four days to get rid of jet lag and everything, and then I went straight back to Europe on a corral trip with my school and another school combined, and where we sang in cathedrals and fortresses and things like that, and it was amazing. So when we went to Ireland, I didn't get a lot of stuff. I got this keychain though, because you know, I like keychains with K for the first letter of my name. And yeah, and then I went to London. So while in London, I had a little bit more money to spend. And so I kind of got a little bit more stuff. In one of the fortresses that we visited, I got a goblet. It's got horses on it, which is awesome and great, fantastic. It's a really cool thing to put on my desk and be like, hey, I got something fancy, what? I made this, built it. Um, it's a figurine from Dungeons and Dragons. We met this really cool guy who built these things for a living and sold them. And so he was able to teach us how to build it and everything. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to paint it or anything, which was like so sad. But hey, his name is Larry. While in England, we got to visit Stonehenge, so I got myself a Stonehenge keychain because I like to collect keychains from every country I've ever been in. I mean, I've only been in three because I just started traveling this summer, but hey, if I ever travel in the future, I know the first souvenir I'm going to get is a keychain. Also in England, we got to see, we had a choice to see Les Mis and the Phantom of the Opera. I've never seen Phantom of the Opera, so I went and we got, I have my ticket seat thingy Phantom of the Opera from Her Majesty's Theater. It was so good. I was like on the edge of my seat. I'm like, this is Phantom. What have I been missing? The stage lit on fire. Oh my gosh. And then I also have my ticket from when we went on the London Eye, which was really cool. It did not feel like a half an hour, but the view was amazing. Amazing. I played patty cake on the top. Do not regret last day we were at the airport um you know so the last day on an international trip you always want to like get rid of the most amount of the foreign currency that you're using because it costs a lot of like a lot more money you'll lose money to transfer it back so you try to get rid of it all and so for that I got two mugs hey it was so I mean I just like this mug because it's really artsy and stuff and it's got like London so I can be like Yo, bro, you were in London? Yeah, bro, I got a mug. And then I also got this uh, Keep Calm and Carry On mug because it was like a two, two for one offer. And I'm like, hey, that sounds pretty good. So I got two mugs. And even though I tried to get rid of all my foreign currency, some of it followed back with me and I'm okay with it. I got crowns, I have got some pence slash pounds in there, and I got some euros. So I have two crowns from Czech Republic. Uh, a two euro coin from Ireland, and then I got a, a ten pence coin from England. So there's that. When we got back from England and Ireland, I had quite a lot of time on my hand, and so I redid my entire room. I'm gonna make a video, I have the footage and everything, I just need to put it all together, and I'm gonna post it on YouTube after I make this video. And it was amazing, it was awesome. I got it done in one week. Hooah. Yes. So after my room, I had band camp. I play the baritone, it's like a baby tuba. I'm the only baritone and I'm a senior. 
So this year I tried super, super hard. I twinned with my baritone every single day. I made sure I knew every single freshman. I sat with a different group of freshmen during lunch. And it was just awesome and great. I made sure I didn't get sunburned, sunscreen it up. And it was great and awesome. I was voted most spirit, so I got a bow. Very happy about it. I don't wear bows, except in YouTube videos, so this may come in handy one day. I don't know. And I was also voted band president. Hey! So, yeah, that was cool and awesome. And then we have this thing called a candlelight ceremony where, like, seniors talk about band and how it's impacted them and stuff. And where, of course, there's candles because it's called a candlelight ceremony. And I brought my candle home because sentiment. Finally, we come to the end. Yesterday, I went to Great America with my Girl Scout troop. We used the money that we got from selling Girl Scout cookies to fund this trip, amusement park thing. It was a lot of fun. And I got a Wonder Woman cape! But it was um, a lot of fun. It was kind of like we were leaving. I saw a cape and I'm like, I really want a cape. And so I got a cape. I'm really happy about the cape. I'm going to use this cape in YouTube videos. This is how I got it home. I'm like, Mom, I make YouTube videos. I will use this cape. And so I have to use it. I'll find a way how to use it. Somehow. <laughs> Alright. I know this is a really long video. I'm super tired. And I got another one to make after this. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you made it to the end. Okay, I, I have some bad news. I accidentally deleted one of my videos. I'm so upset about this. It was my karate video about like showing off my karate stuff and things like that. I, I noticed that there was two of them in one of the playlists, and so I was going to take it out of the playlist, but I accidentally ended up deleting the video. I don't know if I'm going to make it again. I mean, that video took a really long time to make, so we'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and stay cool, my friends.